Hi, I'm Michael Nadalin from Market Lead, and in less than 10 minutes, or at least that's my goal, I'm gonna show you how we build multi-million dollar Facebook ads accounts for lead generation. I'm gonna show you in less than 10 minutes because I don't wanna do a whole masterclass on this, and time is finite, and I want you to get the maximum value in less than 10 minutes. So if you sit and watch and focus and like, comment, subscribe on this, you'll get the most value from this. So if you're a beginner, an expert, whoever you are, Facebook advertising is really powerful for lead generation. For high ticket, B2B, even B2C, whatever it is, you can still make a lot of money from it. We see it with our clients. Literally every single client that we run meta ads for in conjunction with Google ads get outstanding results. Like mind blowing millions and millions and millions of dollars and the clients grow significantly. So I'm gonna take you through one account. I, I aim to do this in less than 10 minutes. I'm gonna go through this through the campaigns, the ad sets, the audiences and the ads and the other settings that are really aligned to having a very simple, clear and concise account. To have the best success in advertising, you want to keep everything as simple, clean as possible. Number one, it's easy for reporting. Number two, it's excellent for management. And then number three, you actually have control over things. So many times I look at Meta Ads accounts, auditing them or picking them up from other agencies, and they're just messy. And you cannot see what the hell's going on. You can't do anything with it. And if you want to optimize anything, it's near impossible. So. We're gonna go through this. We've got this screen up here and I'm just gonna literally show you the account structure. We've got client data here if you're interested in that, but it's not about the data, it's about the structure and the psychology behind it. So already two minutes in, let's express through this. So what we do first is what we have is the campaigns. Now the campaigns are really aligned with the line of business. Instead of just having one campaign per line of business, we have multiple campaigns because there's a different user psychology or use case for every level. So we have retargeting. People have been to the website or the landing page or have engaged in the past, but haven't taken an action. Number two is prospecting or what we call prospecting audiences, which are campaigns that house people or different audiences with a high intent. High intent being they're more likely to convert, turn into a lead, turn into a sale. And then the last one is prospecting broad. And this one's an interesting one. This is what a lot of the newer age Facebook advertisers tend to talk about, but also the way we structure it's a bit different. The reason why we've got in its own campaign is because Facebook will literally just spend money on this broad audience. We're targeting everyone, but they're limited by either age or location demographics. So let's go into it. Retargeting. When we go in here, it's literally one ad set for retargeting. And if we look in here and we go down, we can see that the audiences are basically all website traffic and Google ads traffic. All website traffic, people have come to the website, Google ads traffic, because these are people who have proactively looked for the brand or the product or service in the last 180 days. Those people have a high intent. We want to actively retarget them. Now, if we go deeper down here, we've got the audience targeting and then exclusion targeting. We've got exclusion targeting for this client because Facebook does have a habit of targeting outside your location. So it's really important that you systematically and strategically add negative locations over time so you're not getting leads from random locations. The next thing is age, making sure that you're targeting the age range that your client or the business wants. There's no point targeting people 18 if you're selling something for $50,000 you're not gonna get it. And then as we move down here, we move into placements. Now, this one for me personally, I like to have control over placements. This is what works for our clients. This is what makes money. So our placements we always do are literally everything on the feed. And then if we have a reel with it, we'll put that there as well. Now, I will only do this is if we have a vertical video, like a reel that's long ways. We'll have this for the horizontal, for the people who are on their desktop, but we'll only run this if, if there's a vertical video because we don't want to have the video in the wrong placement. We've noticed that by having an ad with the horizontal for desktop and then the vertical for the reels, the lead volume has significantly increased. So this will just mean that when you go to your ads, then you put a secondary video on it, you'll get better results from it. Let's keep moving through this. We're already four minutes in. So let's look at the prospecting. Prospecting, you'll see here, we've segmented down by different audience and you'll notice the structure. I always say targeting, LLA being at a lookalike audience. So we've built this off a base audience and then it's a lookalike. So it's not the actual audience, it's similar people to it. We segment this down and these are what have been turned on. So if I turn these off, there should be some old ones in there that we had these old audiences here. 
they didn't work, we've turned them off. And you can even see here over time that the cost per leads were significantly higher than here. The lead volume was lower. The conversion rates were lower as well. And the CTRs were lower as well. So this is why we segment this out because it could either be your ads or your audiences. So we run ads in literally every single campaign and every single ad group that they're the same. Now, the reason why we do that is so then we can look in an ad set. We're looking at it as a matrix. So we can see for this audience, this ad goes well, or this audience, this ad goes well. So over time, we can cull ads that are not working for audiences, or we just cull audiences that are not working as well. So you can see this structure here, it's built out. Uh, the audiences, you can go in here, or we can go in here because you're not gonna go into this account. And then you can see the audience structure built out there as well. Audience building, I can do another video on, but this one is just really just the a breakdown of that. The next one is our prospecting broad. Now this one is literally targeting everyone in the same location, in the same age range, but no audience layering. The reason why this is, is because with these other audiences, these are limiting, which is good. We're trying to limit the people who are seeing it, but that is actually still limiting. So this gives us the approach to target really high intent users here and also go broader here. Now, as you can see over time, this audience here has been getting nearly as many results as here, but we've also got more budget there because in recent times it's performing better. So it does fluctuate. And because of this, we can allocate more budget to broad. The challenge is if we put this broad audience into this campaign here, and it was on a campaign budget optimization, meaning that the budget's managed at the campaign level, this would cannibalize the whole budget and spend everything, which we don't want it to do. We want to segment things so we can control it. So on the high level, we can control the budgets and see all the data here. So that's on the ad set level, and we've gone through the campaign, the ad set level, the audiences, and now we can go through the ads. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly bring this over here, and this is probably not the best video editing that you can do, but I just wanna show you, this is something I built out internally for my other company. And why I've done this is to really incentivize our communication to clients when they're like, oh, we need to run more ads. So this is basically how many ads you should run based on your budget. If you've got $1,000 a month, that's $33 a day. And if you've got 20,000, 20, you're up to 667 a day. So that will break down towards how much budget you've got how many audiences, but I'll just go over here for now. So if you've got a thousand dollars budget, I would be recommending that you're only running one to two ads max for those audiences. The reason why is because you actually want it to spend money on the ad. The problem with Facebook ads is that if you run one ad and then put more ads in, it doesn't deliver them equally it distributes it based on the performance of the ad. So if you've got too many ads running, you might've spent weeks and weeks creating content that never actually delivers because Facebook's algorithm won't let it. So when you've got higher budgets, it also means you can run more audiences with a higher prospecting budget per day, but more ads as well. When we've done this, this, you can probably screenshot, this is probably the magical part that actually makes the results is knowing how many ads to run per audiences or per ad set or for the account dependent on your budget. So to scale an account, you need to scale ads, you need to scale audiences because you can cap out on audiences, but you also scale based on your budget. So this way, this is a breakdown that we use based on our retargeting and our prospecting depending on, and based on the budget. So then we know how many prospecting audience, audiences we should run and then also how much budget per day on it and how many ads as well. So we're up to the nine minute 30 mark. I'm gonna go back here. The other thing I just wanna mention here is with Facebook ads, you wanna have the best structure. So this is just for one line of business. We've got different lines of business for this client. This will be multiplied out multiple times. You wanna have your columns really clear and set. And this, the reason why I just wanna finish on this is because you can structure the account properly, but you need to do the data analysis. What data do you look at? This is the data I look at from spending over $112 million on ads making more than that in revenue for clients. And this is the simplest data to look at. Number one, link clicks. How many clicks do we get through? Number two, click through rate. Very important for Facebook, are people actually engaging? We pay for impressions or when people see the ads, not when they click, unlike Google. Impressions, how many times were they seen? And then we come to the conversion results. How many leads, cost per lead, and conversion rate. The next data that I'm just gonna bring over here 
is just some further data that I really like, which is reach, how many people did we hit? Frequency, how often did they see the ads? Now, these could be high numbers. What's a high frequency? What's a low? It's dependent on your business industry, the ticket item, and how long it takes people to buy. And then also the CPM, how much are you paying for people to see your ads? The other one that I add in, which isn't here, is also comments. I also wanna know how many people have commented on it, just to make sure there's no crazy whack comments in there as well. So this is interesting. I've done this in 10 minutes, which I've pretty much shared most of the structure, but I realized this is actually quite hard to implement. It might look strategically simple to do, but to do this properly, even with that document I just showed, it takes a lot of time. So. If you need help with your meta ads to do lead generation and make millions of dollars, reach out to us at Market Lead. This is what we do with so many clients who have made so much money. This is just the ad account. There's also the Google ad side. There's also the landing page. There's also the attribution and reporting. This is only one pillar of a beautiful building that you're attempting to build of your business. This is how we do it simply and consistently to get the best results for you. So if you've liked this video, remember like, comment, share, subscribe. Put a comment below, let me know what your thoughts are. I've wanted to give away this for a while, so here you are. But if you're in need of help of this, reach out to Market Lead. We're here to help you make a lot of money. So I'll leave it there, enjoy.